let's talk about a few features of angles. So we can talk about the fact again um, that obtuse def describes angles that are less than 180, right? But they're greater than 90. So the angle is in between 90 and 180. So you think of 180 degrees, which is called an angle on a straight line is 180. Angle on a straight line. So you have um, angle on a straight line. This is 180, right? Angle at a point, if you're going around a point, that's 360 degrees. This is 180 degrees. If I draw an, the, the, this is a ray, by the way, where you have one point that, one, one part of it that goes on forever and the other part that is like a point. You have a ray and then you have another ray going that way. This is called an obtuse angle. And then we have a situation where you can get an acute angle. An acute angle, let's use a different color. So imagine if the angle was like this. That red here, that's an acute, right? Acute is where you're less than 90 degrees, right? Less than 90 degrees. So it's good to remember your obtuse and your acute. We've talked about the right triangle, right? That's um, when two lines meet, by the way, and form an angle 90 degrees, we say they're perpendicular. And we're going to discuss that more in coordinate geometry. And keep in mind that their slopes multiply to give negative one, right? The slope of two lines that meet, uh, that their slopes are the negative reciprocal of the other one. So basically, we've talked about obtuse, we've talked about acute, we've talked about right angles, right? These are all types of angles we can discuss. Um, one of the things we're going to look at again is we have angle on a straight line. It's 180 degrees. So if you draw an angle here and you have this being, let's call this 70 degrees, okay? That means this angle over here has to be 110 because the total angle has to equal 180, right? So the other way you can write it is 70 degrees plus X is equal to 180 degrees. So X is equal to 110 degrees. So the angle on a straight line is 180 degrees. So all the angles, if we're to have a shape like this, and this was A, and this is um, B, and this is 52. Well, first of all, if you know what B is, then you just add B plus 52, and the leftovers would give you A, right? Because they have to add up to 180, similar to the angle of a triangle, by the way. So let's talk about an aspect of angles, vertical angles. So vertical angles, we, we have a situation where you have something like this. And we're going to call these beta. Okay? So these angles across, right, the vertical angles are going to be equal. So the angles across here are equal and the angles across here are equal. We can see a proof of that if we want, but think of these as angles on a straight line too. So if you have this one over here, you take that and you have alpha and you have beta right whatever these values are they must add up to 180 so the these angles also have to add up to 180 on this this bottom part of this so notice that that's where some of that relationship comes in for how we got vertical angles being equal now let's introduce the angle uh the, the parallel lines and transversal discussion that's a very big part of geometry if you have two parallel lines and they have a transversal, something that cuts through and intersects like that. And let's call this angle A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. When you look at these angles, you can start beginning to see, you can begin to see the relationship between some of them, right? We say A is equal to D, we say vertical angles, right? These two, and then B is equal to C. However, we also look then and say E and H have a relationship, and F and G have a relationship, right? So we have E is equal to H, F is equal to G. Now, here's what is interesting as well. This angle over here and that angle actually have a relationship. D is also equal to E, right? Which would mean that D is also equal to H, by the way, just a side note. But now we have to list a few of these things. You don't necessarily need to know all their technical names for the exam. But we know that vertical angles was the first set that I gave you, right? These are vertical angles. These are alternate interior angles. Then we talked about alternate interior angles. 
alternate interior angles are also equal. This and that will be equal. This and that will be equal, right? So those are called alternate interior angles. Um, then there's something called corresponding angles, right? Corresponding angles. And that would be situations like A and E, right? A and E and B and F. Those are corresponding angles, okay? So we have corresponding angles, alternate interior angles, and vertical angles. If you want more details on this topic, let me know. But I just wanted to show you a little bit of how we get some of these derivations. We do not necessarily need to know the full technical names of all these, but it's just good to know the relationships between the angles. If you were to see uh, two parallel lines, if you see two parallel lines and a transversal, and I tell you that this is 15 degrees, can you tell me all the other angles basically? And you can say that this is 15, this is 15, this is 15, right? You can automatically say this is 165, that means that's 165, that means that's 165, that means that's 165. So you see where their relationship comes in because these have to add up to 180, these have to add up to 180, um, and then these are congruent. So some things to keep in mind with angles. Before we leave this section on angles, let me remind us that complementary angles add up to 90 degrees and supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. If you're worried that you might not remember which one is which, just remember the letter C comes before the letter S, right? So 90 comes before 180. That's one way to remember complementary and supplementary. By the way, the other way to remember all these angles here is that the smaller one right? The smaller angles, the ones that look like they're the smaller one, they're all going to be equal. And the larger ones are all going to be equal as well. So that's a short way to remember this. But complementary and supplementary, 90 and 180. Keep up the good work and have a great day.